So then we come to the lead vocal. You'll see that uh, there's quite a lot of automation and processing going on here. The lead vocal was recorded on a Warm Audio uh, 47, the U47 from Warm Audio, WA47, that's what it's called. On its own, it sounds like this. It's recorded to a 1073, so it's quite thick sounding. There's a bit of saturation just recorded directly in on the way. Um, and I think it was also recorded maybe through an 1176 at the recording stage. Uh, but it sounds like this. So I'm still wearing the same hats that I did back then. This hand-knit anti-fashion, I believe in hand-me-downs and black wool from a black sheep much like me. And one of the things we wanted to do was make sure that the lyrics, because the lyrics are such an important part of this particular song, we wanted to make sure that the lyrics were always audible, but it also had some character. Um, it didn't sound too polished. We wanted to kind of add some edge to it. So we've got the Infinity EQ, which is just taking out some 200 hertz and some kind of 800, 700 resonance, as well as quite a lot of harshness in that 2K area. And then this quite steep roll off. Give me some good old fashioned depression and feel deeply my love once in a blue moon. Well, I said and drink till time says I've had enough. E and then we have the Diessa. Give me some good old fashioned depression. There's a bit of an issue here with the sync between, I think the, the delay compensation on the mix bus is not quite working properly. So we're not getting like a true reading on the meter when it actually happens. Uh, but you can hear it that it's, that it's just taming some of that, taming some of that top end. And then we have um, a little 2 dB bump with the trim plugin, which is just feeding the gain for the Arvox, which is a classic, but I love it. Always does a really good job of smoothing out the vocals. Give me some good old fashioned depression and feel deeply my love once in a blue moon. Really old plugin, but basically every video that I do with every mix that I do has the Arvox on it because uh, I just love that plugin. It's so good at smoothing out the vocal um, and just adding a bit of thickness to it which is always welcome. Um, then we have the channel strip again. In this case, we're boosting uh, from about 5K, taking away some two and a half, a little bit more two and a half, and then rolling off uh, up to about 120, 130 hertz. It sounds like this. Give me some good old fashioned depression. And feel deeply my love once in a blue moon. There's some very subtle compression happening, but probably not enough that it's audible. Uh, then we have decap, which is adding quite a lot of grit to this vocal. Give me some good old fashioned depression. And feel deeply my love once in a blue moon. It's not subtle. I've got it on the T setting, which I could be wrong, but I think is like the thermonic culture vulture emulation. Got a high cut going on here as well, which is like down to 7.5k, which is maybe counterintuitive to the top end boost that I added on the SSL. But uh, it is what it is. A bit more of a low cut as well. Um, and then we use the pool tech to do another top end boost after doing the top end cut from the top end boost that we already made. Always like the way this sounds on vocals, we've got a boost going on from 5K um, and then an attenuation roll off up to about 100 hertz, quite a broad cue here. And that sounds like this. Give me some good old fashioned depression and feel deeply my love once in a blue moon. Well, I'll sit and drink till that roll off is like just at the point where it's audible, just helps clean up some unwanted loads in the vocals. And then the boost is quite subtle, but again, just opening the vocal up a touch. And we have the RDS just to control any final sibilance that's happening anywhere in the vocal. Give me some good old fashioned depression. 
I'd feel deeply my love once in a blue moon Well, I'll sit and drink Till time says I've had enough Even Concord wise Then we have, uh, it kind of all comes alive on the sends. We have the 1176 in parallel here which is, I think, the blue face, the blue face, eleven seventy six from Waves, CLA seventy six, um, just mixed in a little bit. Give me some good old fashioned depression, and feel deeply my love once in a blue moon. Well, I'll sit and drink Till time says I've had enough Even Concord was in the 27 Club Just helps fatten that vocal, give it a bit more weight um, And yeah, I really like what that's adding Just helps it feel thicker And particularly in the mix you'll hear, it's way more present with that Give me some good old fashioned It's almost as if it helps the vocal just take a little step up above the music because we're kind of bringing up that low level a little bit more and it brings it closer to the listener. Next up we have the VSC, which is send to the Verb Suite Classics Slate Digital, which is down here somewhere. And what's that doing? So that is normally just like a little vocal room, something very short. So we have this, yeah, this digital plate from the FG250. I think this is just a preset that I've loaded up. Yeah, so we have this two, 250 vocal perfection. It's super subtle, but it adds like a nice kind of width to the vocal, gives it a bit of life. This vocal was recorded in a vocal booth, so it was pretty dry. It's just helping to add a bit more dimension to that vocal. Give me some good old fashioned depression. And feel deeply my love once in a blue moon. Well, I'll sit and drink. You don't want too much. It's just there really to kind of add a bit of life, like I say. Uh, then we have the vocal slap, which is down here somewhere again in my pink effect sends. And in this case, it's Echo Boy. Is there any EQ happening before it? No. So it's just Echo Boy or the cheap tape setting. Classic slap, 15 ips. Uh, and that sounds like this. Give me some good old fashioned depression And feel deeply my love once in a blue moon Well I'll sit and drink Till time says I've had enough Even Concord just add some width to that vocal where we have the two different delay times left and right. It's just helping make the vocal feel a little bit wider and a little bit bigger, adding a little bit more character to it because it's quite a lo-fi sounding delay. Uh, and then we have another delay, which again is like a slap thing. In this case, it's on my 16 note delay send, but I don't think it's actually a rhythmic thing. I think it's just I use that send because it lives in my template. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's not a 16 note, it's not time synced. It's just 134 millisecond delay on the lo-fi setting, H delay and then rolling off uh, quite a lot of low end, and it sounds like this. Give me some good old fashioned depression And feel deeply my love once in a blue moon Well, I'll sit and drink till which in some ways on its own, it sounds a bit obnoxious, but when we combine it with that vocal slap, the Verb Suite Classics, and obviously this 1176 in parallel. Give me some good old fashioned depression. It sits in a lot more and it helps that vocal just kind of fit within the arrangement. Give me some good old fashioned 